Andrew, what does getting that belt mean to you? Oh, it's incredible. I've seen a couple guys get it now, so I couldn't wait to get it. <laughs> How much of a thrill was not only playing in this series for you, but contributing in big ways, both offensively and defensively? Uh, that's what you dream about. You know, you come here, you, you want to be a part of something. So, you know, not only doing good on the field, but earning the respect of the guys in the locker room. How did you not only get to that last ball, but get up in time to throw it and, and get the runner? Uh, I was just ready for anything there, anything on the ground. And I didn't know if Rugi was going to make a play on it. So just trying to see what was going to happen there. And then when I got when I got it, I got to my I said, you know what? I'm going to throw it as hard and as low as I can so that Rizzo can just pick it. If not, I would have threw it in the family section in the second <laughs> second deck. Go next to Tom Merriam. Andrew, what's it been like for you playing here in your hometown in the Bronx in such a big series? Oh, incredible. Kind of, you know, better than I could have imagined it, really. Simply put. Christy Ecker, you have the next question. Andrew, did you ever come to Yankees Thread Sox games when you were a kid? Uh, I don't I don't know if we did, but those tickets were probably too expensive for me. <laughs> but I, I, I do remember coming to a lot of games, so. Yeah. Thank you. Lindsay Adler, please unmute. Andrew, have you been staying with the family while you guys are in town this week? Sort of what's that been like trying to balance getting to the park each day? But I'm sure you have a lot of people who want to see you this week. Yeah, just trying to separate, just, you know, knowing that when I get to the field, I have a job to do. So just trying to contribute to something. Um, and once I get on the, on the field, it's, uh, it's work. So, you know, just trying to do a good job of separating. And what would your neon sign say? Excuse me? What was that, Lindsay? What would your, what would your neon sign say? My what sign? Ne I'm sorry, I can't. Neon, I think? Never mind. I'm good. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I didn't know either, Andrew. Uh, Brian Hope. Hey, Andrew, uh, since we couldn't see the presentation in the clubhouse, what was going on there with the uh, the championship belt? Did you have to give a speech? You know, did guys say anything to you? Yeah, apparently I gave a pretty good speech, which was shocking. But uh, <laughs> I think I saw some firemen come in there. I don't know what was going on. <laughs> it was, like, <laughs> it was real uh, Twilight Zone-ish, but real, pretty awesome, man. What did you say? Oh, if I had, I wish I wrote it down. It sounded pretty good coming out of my mouth. <laughs> but, um... No, it just came from the heart, just uh, that I'm honored to be here in, in that locker room with those guys. And, like, I've dreamt of doing what we just did. Um, so, in real life, it was way better. Yeah. Kenny Davidoff, you have the next question. Andrew, what is your approach with uh, runners on base there? Uh, see you're the off, ball. You're out hitting. Sorry. Yeah, see the ball, hit the ball. But, I mean, just, just trying to maintain aggressiveness, I think, um, you know, try not to expand the zone. I did a couple times, but, um, yeah, just try not to do too much. My job isn't to hit a homer necessarily. Just put it in play and, and let something happen. And I apologize if you discussed this earlier at this homestand. Who are you staying with here? Oh, I'm with my parents. That's way exactly. closer than okay. staying in Manhattan. You know, okay. it's cheaper, too. How far, how close are they to here? Ah, man, what's the, the drive-in's like 20 minutes, 25 okay. minutes, depending which route. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Justin Shackle, go ahead. Andrew, what stood out to you with the way Andrew Heaney was able to pitch tonight? Oh, man, he just controlled the zone. I think he, he bared down after the Bogarts homer and kept us in it. You know, he did his job. He did a great job at it, too. And then the bullpen came in and did a lot of the same. So um, we scored early, and he just kept us rolling. 